We got the festive feast this morning. <laughs> what are you making for us, Claudia? Because I'm this doing, looks amazing. It does, doesn't it? I'm doing Christmas canopies. So we're doing posh piggies and then we're doing stuffed mushrooms with gorgonzola and a crispy topping. Ooh. And then we're doing these. These are, I mean, OK, so if I was to do the correct kind of French name, they're called pamier. But they're so simple, they're, we're basically calling them cinnamon and chocolate hearts because they're so simple to make. All of these, by the way, you can make a day ahead. You can pop them in the fridge and then you can put them in and they all take about 10 or 15 minutes to make. So to start off with the posh piggies, now I know you don't like pork, so I've given you a vegetarian option. Oh, thank you. So you could do a mix of this at home. So if you'd like, these are great because if you had one of your daughters or sons was vegan or your wife, whatever, you could do a vegan sausage. I mean, you get the cocktail sausage and then what you do want to do then is wrap it with um, prosciutto like that. So you have uh -oh. a little cocktail sausage. Uh oh. Uh oh, alert. These are good. <laughs> They're good, aren't These they? Are good. They're yummy, aren't mm. they? So you wrap it with the prosciutto or the parma ham like that. And then what you do is you get strips of puff pastry. And I can tell you, puff pastry is your best friend at Christmas time because you can make it into so many things. Loda, so I would you... not know that was a, a vegetarian sausage. Oh, that's great. It tastes like real is sausage, it? yeah. Okay, I yeah. hope you picked the right one. <laughs> oh, and I'm only joking, I'm only joking. You were supposed to be vegetarian. OK, so then your pastry is like this, OK? And then what you do want to do then is cut a little, kind of like a point in it, because we're going to make them look like croissants. And then you egg brush the inside, but you want to butter the outside, otherwise it's too heavy. So you get your little wrapped sausage. Sorry, say that again. So you, you brush br this side here yeah. with an egg wash. OK. And then I'll tell you, we're going to do a butter wash then on the outside when it's just wrapped up. Oh. But it's important to have the pointy things here because we're going to make them look like croissants. And the pastry has to be shorter than the size of the sausage. So depending on the size of your cocktail sausage, Pop it down. <laughs> Doesn't usually matter, Josie, the size of the sausage. <laughs> it does, actually. <laughs> Sorry to tell you that, Fred. <laughs> I'm only joking. Sorry. And then, so you curl it all up so it looks like a little croissant shape at the top like that, right? And then what you do then is you butter it like so all the way around. And then you get some sesame seeds or you could use uh, mustard seeds or whatever you want. And you just must like, put the seeds on like that pop them in the fridge, and then when you're ready to pop them into the oven, let me just wash my hands. When you're ready to pop them in the oven, they take 25 minutes. I know it seems bizarre that they're 25 minutes. It should be shorter, but it's not because the pastry is all around it. It takes a bit longer to cook That's in the sausage. That's why they're so... They're the crunchiest sausage rolls I've ever had. Can Are they? It? Just everyone just quiet for a second and listen to the okay. crunch. Are you ready? It's like mm. ASMR. Yes. Mm. <laughs> Oh. That's good, isn't it? Mm. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well done. That's definitely sold it. OK, so next on are the gorgonzola stuffed crispy mushrooms, which are heaven. So what you do, this is simple again, you get your chestnut mushroom like this and you take out the stem of it. So, and then you put the cavity facing upwards, so they're going upwards like this. And then in here, I've got gorgonzola. You could use stilton as well, you know, to bring it local to England, which is great. The gorgonzola is just a little bit more creamy, so it works better in this. And then I'm putting in breadcrumbs. You can use leftover breadcrumbs. So any stale bread that you have is brilliant. You can just whiz that up or else use panko ones. And then I've got garlic in here. So crushed garlic goes in here. Um, flat leaf parsley, because it gives that lovely pepperiness mm. to it, which kind of really cuts the, the smokiness uh, and the kind of moorishness. And then a little bit of pepper, not all that. And then salt. And then last is... Sha la 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 Okay, <laughs> sorry, I've been dying to do that. I know, See it's so cheesy. <laughs> I do it every Christmas. <laughs> sorry, you mix it all together until it looks like this, okay? And this is heaven. And what you do then is you just get your mushroom and you stuff it really, really well like that, okay? And then what you want to do then is get a little bit of olive oil like that and then just brush your mushrooms. You know when people say they don't like with mushrooms? With bottom olive oil. Clodagh, I think it's because yeah. they, they haven't been eating them the right way. Okay. And these are really, they're still a bit firm and meaty and delicious. Yeah, they're yeah, meaty, they, aren't they? I think they? everyone would love these. They're gorgeous. And I think they're kind of from the 60s, aren't they? They used to do a lot of stuffed mushrooms in the 60s. And then they kind of fell out of fashion and whatever. And they come out looking like that. Oh. So they're warm and, and they're, they're great because they're the size of a canopy. 
Mm. Um, but also, if you didn't have blue cheese, oh, that's hot, I'm going to pop that down. If you didn't have blue cheese, you could use cheddar or whatever it is that you have in the fridge. So that's that one. And that's one again, of the nicest things I've ever tasted on this morning. Those mushrooms are beautiful. Um, and so this is the last one. So these are the fabulous chocolate hearts. And these are brilliant. I think these are going to be the biggest hit because they look so beautiful. So you get your puff pastry like that and then you roll it out so it's 12 inches or kind of about that, a big square. And then in here, I've put caster sugar and then I've put, which one is this one? Cacao, so cocoa powder, so hot chocolate or whatever, mm. cocoa powder. So the kind of the powder, the powdered chocolate. And then what you do then is just sprinkle it oh, all over fun. the sheet. This is really this is fun. fun. So you could do this with your kids. Yeah. Right, this would be a nice thing for you to do when you get back to Ireland. Mm -hmm. Oh, lovely Ireland at Christmas time. I know, I can't wait. Um, roll okay. it a little bit, right, like that. So the, the sugar goes back into it like so, right? And then what you want to do then is turn it over like that. And then this one is cinnamon sugar. So this is ground cinnamon and caster sugar. You roll Double it. Double sugar, Cloda. Double sugar. Well, you've got to sweeten them up because that's all that's in there. And then what you do, okay, so this is magic, right? Oh, then you've got to roll it quickly, like that. And then what you do then is you turn it over like a book. So you turn that one and that one halfway, okay, like that. Mm -hmm. And then you do that one and you do that one. And then you fold it up like this and you pop it into the fridge. And then when it comes out of the fridge, it looks like this. And then all you simply do is cut it like this. Clever, really clever. You push it open so it looks like a heart. Oh, yeah. You leave those in the fridge. And then when you're ready to bake them off, pop them into the oven for 15 minutes. And you've got this gorgeous chocolate cinnamon heart. With a little bit of Bailey's cream. Lovely. Oh. Go with a bit of Bailey's cream. Yes. Genius. Happy Christmas. <laughs>